moment. But as promised, we are going to a live news conference in downtown LA on the officer involved shooting in Lancaster. Let's listen in. Hundreds of law enforcement personnel responded to Lancaster Sheriff Station to answer a help call from an on duty deputy sheriff. Deputy Angel Reynoso reported being shot and hit, shot at and hit by gunfire, and detailed that two shots came from an upper floor sniper in the apartments north of the station. Reynoso reported standing near the heliport inside the station parking lot at the time that he was shot. Reynoso was rescued by responding deputies from his position and rushed to the hospital for treatment of a grazing gunshot wound to his shoulder. For the next several hours, tactical teams cleared the surrounding areas, including the entire apartment complex adjacent to the parking lot. A large perimeter was established and movement in the area was completely restricted. Traffic was diverted from the area, Metrolink was shut down, and La Lancaster residents were displaced until we were sure that the gunman was no longer a threat in the immediate area. No gunman was located that night. After securing the scene, Sheriff's Homicide Bureau began our investigation. Surveillance video footage was reviewed, the crime scene was analyzed and documented, and numerous witnesses were interviewed, including Angel Reynoso, who had since been released from the hospital. Investigators saw hole, two holes in his uniform shirt, which he represented to coincide with his injury purportedly caused by the sniper's bullet. Evidence was collected from the scene in the apartment complex involved, and crime lab personnel assisted in documenting the crime scene. Since that afternoon, Forensic analysis of much of the evidence has been completed, and today a follow-up interview of Angel Reynosa was scheduled in order to confirm his statement and photograph the state of his injury currently, days after the incident. Today, detectives saw no visible injury to Reynosa's shoulder. During the subsequent interview, Angel Reynosa admitted that he was not shot at from the apartment complex area, as he previously claimed. He also told investigators that he had caused the holes in his uniform shirt by cutting it with a knife. There was no sniper, no shots fired, and no gunshot injury sustained to his shoulder. Completely fabricated. Reynosa failed to provide information regarding his motivation for this act. This in investigation is ongoing, and when concluded, it will be presented to the district attorney's office for filing consideration. 